Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Higgins. While many are making their way out of the area, people from Oregon are headed that direction, hoping to help those impacted by Hurricane Matthew. The storm has weakened tonight to a Category 2, but it's still packing 100-mile-per-hour winds. Meantime, the death toll in Haiti is climbing. The Interior Ministry ministry says nearly 300 people were killed, but with many areas still inaccessible, that number could multiply. Officials are warning tonight the worst of the storm may not be over, with the danger now shifting towards Georgia and South Carolina. More than 4,000 flights were canceled through Sunday, according to FlightAware, and nearly 5,000 more delayed, and Amtrak canceled service up and down the Florida coast. With just 24 hours notice, volunteers from across the Pacific Northwest left to help those being evacuated from their homes. A total of 16 volunteers from our region in Oregon and southwest Washington are currently on the ground in the southeast. Responders are helping set up additional shelters and make sure warehouses are stocked with food, cots, and blankets. The Red Cross says Thursday night up to 2,700 people in Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia spent the night in evacuation shelters. We have to mobilize resources really quickly to help people in need because we need to be ready. That's part of the importance of preparedness and the Red Cross. We're prepared here at home and ready for an emergency so we can be prepared to help other people in need across the country. Responders from Portland, Junction City and Roseburg are all helping.